What's happening everybody and today we're going to be talking about Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen. Uh, this is one of my favourite uh, rivalries that I've, I've um, viewed personally myself in the UFC and I quite like that. I mean Chael Sonnen was talking the most sh shit to Anderson Silva. I mean if you just hearing Chael Sonnen talk about Anderson Silva and in a press conference and about the family and Brazilians and all of this stuff, it would make you want to go and watch that fight. Just so you know what Anderson Silva says back. Anderson Silva came in very calm and collected. And he just said, you know what, is what is, we'll fight, we'll let the fight do the talking. But Chael Sonnen kept antagonizing and kept antagonizing. And it was really good fight. I mean, when I talk about in previous videos, when I say, oh yeah, if he's got the shorter reach and he's the, if he's got the, the shorter reach and he's not got the height, he should always come in, close the gap and smother him that way. This is the fight that shows what I'm talking about. This is the fight that when you want to talk about the, the height and reach uh, disadvantages, this is how you deal with those situations. Chael Sonnen for five constant rounds, put in the pressure, grounded Anderson Silva, gave him some good ground and pounds throughout five rounds. I mean... Think of who we're talking about here, Anderson Silva. This guy was the legend of stand-up. He was the legend at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's the legend at everything. You want to talk about a complete fighter? Apart from John Jones, you speak Anderson Silva. You ask John Jones who's the best fight, he will speak Anderson Silva. You don't talk. It's like playing a video game. Your boss level is going to be Anderson Silva. And now nowadays, Israel Adesanya, which is another, it's, a, it's like a reincarnation. If I was to put Anderson Silva in his prime against Israel on this Adesanya and John Jones at the primes, we'd have a very interesting year if they were all the same age and all on their prime. Imagine that as as just a UFC card, just those three fighters in on that card, mate. They're literally an embodiment of each other, you know. But anyway, enough of all of that. Chael Sonnen versus Anderson Silva. Yeah, Anderson Silva got smothered for five rounds. When it started, at the start of the round, yeah, he was in there. We were the dab with the reach. With it. He knew what he wanted to do. Chael Sonnen just knew how to close that gap. Quick, grab him to the floor and ground and pound him. If you watch that video as well, he locks his leg with Anderson Silva's leg. So when he, Anderson Silva's trying to get out of the guard, he can't. He's trapped. His leg is trapped in it. That means Chael Sonnen can just keep constantly punching him. Now, the comeback of the year, which is in this video as well, after getting beaten for five uh, rounds, I don't know if I feel like I've been saying years, but when, when you've been beaten for five rounds constantly, you're thinking, as a viewer, we know who the winner is. We know who's going to win this fight. Anderson Silva managed to pull off a triangle choke within, I think he had like maximum two minutes left to the end of that fight. But managed to pull out, out of the blue, a triangle choke, which was controversial because uh, Chael Sonnen did tap once. He just tapped. Normally people tap more than once. It's like three taps and you're out, you know. But a tap is a tap. You see Anderson Silva lock it in, you see him crank it, and you see Chael Sonnen do the tap. Again, Chael Sonnen disputed that with the referee, saying he didn't. Um, Anderson Silva pushes Chael Sonnen off, saying, look, he tapped, he tapped, it. the match is over, what you do, and I've won. Uh, but yeah, it was very controversial, which then eventually did lead to a second fight, which that first fight was amazing. If you want to see a legend get beaten, and then right in the last minute, swoop the win... That's the fight you want to watch. That's what I talk about when I'm saying against the height and reach disadvantages. You go watch that fight. It's an amazing fight. It explains itself, you know. Um, but yeah, they win a second fight. They win a second match. Um, and yeah, Anderson Silva came in and just pff, bodied Chilled Sonnen. Because he knew, I'm not going to let him close the gap. So I'm just going to put in the pressure. Stop him from coming in and just use my reach. He came in correct. Anderson Silva gone off, done his homework. Um, because in that first fight, he also did damage a rib. He went, he went home, done his home, met Chael Sonnen again, talking all that shit again in the press conference. Anderson Silva came in, shut him up, and that was it. Would we like to see a third fight? I would say yes. Out of respect, it's 1-1. One, one. Every time there's a draw in the scoreboard, I personally am one of those guys that I can't leave it as a draw. I like to go and then... You know, let, let, let's have it again. If it's a draw, we need to undraw this. Let's see who the real winner is here. Um, I don't believe in draws. I believe there is going to be a predominant fight. Let's just sort that out. But yes, Anderson Silva did win. I believe it was the first round as well. I'm not going to take that away. I don't know. I'm not sure. Now I'm very confused whether it was the first or second round. I do believe it was the first round. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. 
But yeah, Anderson Silva came in, a ni nice couple shots. At one point, Chael Sonnen even went, uh, he was up against the cage in a sitting position. And Anderson Silva literally threw a knee right at him in his chest, which a lot of people try to say was to the head. But no, that was to the chest. And that was a very good precision knee that he done there. Um, but yeah, wins by TKO. And um, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, if you've got any recommendations on a fight you want me to check out and actually talk about, um, I'll be more than glad to. And um, yeah, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification, hit whatever you like. Um, thank you for watching. Check out my previous videos and my uh, future videos to come. And um, yeah, peace. Have a wonderful day.